welcome back to my channel it's your girl money here and i'm back for another freaking video in today's video y'all i'm going to be answering a few questions that i get a lot the same questions that i get majority of the time one of the main questions that i always get is how did i have the carriage to move out of state with no family no friends not knowing anybody yeah i just did it i literally i think the camera's crooked all right so um what i can say about that is i think the camera's falling okay what i can say about that is y'all i just honestly i just did it i didn't think about it i didn't think about the details too much i mean i was just so over everything and i was just like you know what just kidding but yeah i was just over it so i just did it and if you are in like a season of your life and you're and you need to make like a big decision or a big choice and or you need to take some sort of huge risk i've always said this and i'm gonna say it again and again and again and again and again until you guys get it up here just do it because guess what you can always go back what i will say about going back why? why why won't people just leave me alone while i'm trying to do a video all right going backwards will never bring you towards your future because the thing about it is we are so used to um we are so used to the normal we're so used to our certain ways of life and that's why as a human being we like to be content we like to be comfortable it takes a lot out of us to change and accept change and and, and and embrace it and like get used to it in our head and in reality and so going backwards um if you do take a risk and you don't like it and you do go backwards that's fine for, and i believe it's fine for like temporary but just know that going backwards will never allow you to grow and going backwards and staying stagnant will never uh provide you with the, the the things you need in order to grow as a person another question that i always get is how do i how did i find a job in texas and was it hard so i did find a good job here in texas but it was not really that easy but a tip for anyone that's moving here that needs a job is to use a staffing agency I recommend using a recruitment agency to locate jobs for you because you just tell them how much you're willing to accept the locations that you're willing to work in and they do the rest of the work all you need to do is fix up your resume have it updated and go out reach out to different recruiting agencies different uh, staffing agencies and they'll do the rest of the work but in Texas there is a lot of competition there's a lot of people with uh, degrees and experience and qualified people out here so it was a little tough for me because one i'm only 21 years old and i started searching for jobs at 20 years old i didn't i mean i i worked a few jobs but not that many and i don't have a degree so but i was able to get a job and i don't have anything so i know that anybody that's watching this video will be able to get a job and another question that i always get is what did, how did i move with no money um once again i just did it i did not think twice about it i mean i knew i had a few dollars in my name but i was not gonna let that stop me because i knew what the objective was to come here and do and that was to come here and get my own place and get a job and do what i gotta do and do youtube and that's what i'm doing and i'm staying strong in that i'm i'm keeping pushing in that even if it gets a little tough at times because it does it definitely do but at the end of the day i'm here for a reason i have a goal and i'm accomplishing something every single day and that's all that matters oh yes so i got questions on how did i meet people here I did something very funny when I first moved here. 
I actually went on Instagram and I hashtag Dallas and I went through the hashtag and I found girls that look like they're around my age and look like girls that I would hang out with and I hit them up and I was like hey like do you know where like uh, people hang out in Texas I just moved here and blah 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 and I did that and I actually met a lot of people that way and I'm still friends with some people that I did that with and then at my jobs I talked to a lot of people there and asked them like different things on like as far as where I could go and meet friends that I even like hang out with some people from my job now and then they introduced me to their friends and then I go from there so that's another way um and then like I said Instagram and even some of y'all like some of y'all that's moving here has hit me up and I have like been communicating with through like Instagram social media and actually i've met up with a few people from my youtube channel which is really cool as well um and yeah like i just network i go to events i go to party or yeah parties and i just talk to people and let them know like hey i'm new here and and everything like that but at the end of the day regardless of what you do to meet new people just make sure that you are safe because people are crazy these days so make sure that you're safe when you're doing that but ultimately go out explore talk to people and if you do move here or anywhere you move you'll make you'll make friends you'll uh, meet new people yeah another thing that i want to talk about somebody wanted me to talk about the tornado that we had so we had a tornado in dallas and was it like two weeks ago it was like two three weeks ago and it actually damaged some 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 people's houses like some of my co-workers actually lost their homes and it was really really sad but the weird part about it is i don't live in i don't live in dallas i live in frisco and I got, we got heavy rains, but we didn't really experience the actual tornado. Um, and I really believe that I slept through it because I woke up and I swear every single time Dallas have a storm or some type of rains, like I feel like the whole city shuts down. And so I assumed that this was one of the storms, but as I was going to work, I was seeing like trees and stuff knocked over. And then at work, I was hearing all this talk about people's like some of our uh, co-workers homes being damaged and i was like wow so this must have been real and that's when i found out it was a whole, whole tornado so i really didn't know that dallas had tornadoes and, and get storms like that that was my first time hearing about a tornado here but all in all i think that um it's all being taken care of i don't see really any trees or anything down these days like like now and um yeah that's all i really can say about the tornado it was weird y'all I'm about to turn my phone off but yeah all in all that is that i hope i answered a few of the popular questions that i get um yeah guys if you are not subscribed don't forget to go ahead and do that also follow me on my instagram at the amani collins my twitter the amani collins my facebook amani collins my snapchat super money yo do all those good things and i will see y'all in my next video Bye, guys.